What is up guys, Matt the Riftmaster here. So it's been just over a month since Metallica's Hardwired to Self Destruct was released uh, and I thought I would revisit uh, my review of the album today uh, because my thoughts on certain songs have changed massively since I first heard it to now. Uh, so I wanted to come on and talk about it and discuss it with all of you guys. So just over a month ago when the album was released, I was so excited, a lot of us were. It was a huge build up, the huge weight, and then it finally came out. And my, my first thoughts, straight away, completely just blown away. That sense of Metallica, a back kind of thing. I was getting chills while I was listening to the album. And uh, I've just been listening to it non-stop since it was released. Like, it's crazy. I have it playing all the time, every day, I just can't get enough of it. Now from my reactions when I first uh, heard the album, some of the songs I wasn't too keen on, some I really, really liked, uh, and like I said, over time, the more I've listened, the more my opinions have changed on them. For example, uh, the song Confusion, I was not a fan of really at all, but I've been listening to it a lot, and I've really got into it more. Just the song in general, I've really, grown to like it's grown on me which happens the more you listen to it the more songs grow on you and I really dig this song now the guitar stuff in it the riffs in it I've been playing it a lot as well and it's super fun to play and I just really really am starting to like the song also another one that I was no fan of was Here Comes Revenge um, I, just, I just couldn't get into the song straight away but again I've listened to it more and it's probably one of my favorites at the minute I just really love the verse, um, vocal melodies, they're just chilling, they give me chills every time. I think it's awesome, the riffs, I just think it's a great song now. Uh, Man Unkind, I'm still not all the way there with it. Uh, there's certain parts in the song that I've started to really like, certain riffs that have started to get a bit catchy in my head. So maybe more. the more I listen to it, the more I'll kind of get into it more. Uh, but still, the video though, Big thumbs down for that. But again, it's growing on me. A lot of the songs now are growing on me that I didn't like in the beginning. Uh, and just overall, it's kind of... It's been so good listening to new Metallica. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that don't like it. Uh, don't like the sound that they have. All that kind of stuff. They wish they were back in the 90s. But that was in the 90s. This is now. People have moved on. Uh, you know, it sounded good to them, it sounds good to loads of people, it sounds good to me. I love it. All in all, the guitar stuff on the album, I just absolutely love, I'm obsessed with. A lot of the riffs just make me make, like pull that face, you know, the riff face when you hear an awesome riff. Halo on Fire is still my number one favourite on the album though, that's not going anywhere for a while from my number one spot, I think it's absolutely just an insanely, geniusly great song. I absolutely love it. Now someone commented the other day saying that there was an interview of Hetfield saying that they're working on the next album and I was just thinking, if this is true, how crazy is that? How good is that gonna be? They're working on a new one and hopefully bring out maybe next year. But I just hope they don't do a load reload thing. I mean, I thought that was cool. I like the songs from Load and Reload. I just hope they don't make another album purely based on the fact that they had songs left. I hope they go back into the whole writing process kind of thing, the whole sh the whole shebang of writing an album and not just bum a bunch of leftover songs onto another album for the sake of making a new album. But I don't think they'll do that. I hope they don't. Fingers crossed they don't. Uh, but if they are working on a new one and it's going to come out whenever, that's just awesome. I'm extremely excited. I mean, this one for me... Hardwired to self-destruct was just absolutely awesome. I love it. Like I said, every day since it came out, I've been listening to that album. There's not been a day or an hour or a minute or a second that's gone by that I've not had that album playing. It's just awesome. It gets me, it just puts me in a great mood. It makes me want to pick up the guitar. It makes me want to jump around. It makes me want to go crazy. It makes me want to sing. I can't even sing, but it just gives me that kind of vibe. Just over a month now since it was released, and to me it's just getting better and better and better and better and better. Metallica are still on top, they're kicking ass, they always will, they always have done, and uh, I just I just can't wait for them to tour in the UK. Now I know they're not coming to the UK for a while, which sucks, 
Uh, but I really, really hope they come over soon. I really want to go see them because Metallica Live just completely blows me away. So guys, let me know your thoughts one month and a bit on from when the album was released. Let me know your thoughts, if your opinions have changed on songs. Um, people have been sending me their rank list of all the songs, which is awesome to see. A lot of people have sent others because it's changed, which is good. So let me know your thoughts, guys, one month on from Hardwired Release. Um, and if you're going to see them, let me know when and where. Uh, that would be cool. And if you are going to see them, get some videos, get some pictures, post them on YouTube, post them on the Riffmaster Family Facebook page. So like I said, guys, let me know in the comments what your thoughts are of the album now, if your opinions have changed on songs, if you like some more than others now, all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments and let's get discussing. So guys, one more thing that I want to talk to you about is my, an update on my recording situation. Now a lot of you know I had some issues with recording and all that stuff which was a huge, huge pain in my ass. But thank you to everyone who suggested what it could be, it really did mean a lot. I've tried a bunch of things, I've spoke to some people, I've got a new interface coming which should be here today. So I'm hoping that's going to work. I can't see it being the microphone because the microphone works, it's recording stuff. It's just so I think it's something, as the sounds go into the interface, something scrambling and not working. So hopefully a new interface will work and I'll be up and running to be recording again. It's been a while, I do apologize. Bear with me guys, I'm working on it so badly. I'm trying to get it all sorted, but hopefully it'll be sorted today. Uh, if not, I, will, I won't sleep until I get it fixed. That's my promise to you. I will not sleep until I fix this situation. For you guys. Thanks for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know your comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the album. Hardware Self Destruct, one month on, whether there's more songs that you like now, whether songs have grown on you, all that kind of stuff, let me know. And like I said as well, let me know if you're going to see them on tour, when, where, and remember, get videos, get photos, post them, because I want to see them. So thanks guys, take care, be awesome, uh, you guys rock, you really do, you rock, you are the best YouTube family on YouTube in the world, ever, I love you all. Take care guys, I'll see you soon. See ya!